Temple students living in Yorktown recently received letters from the City of Philadelphia letting them know they may have to move out. According to City Code, Yorktown is designated for single-family housing only. It is unknown how long students would have to vacate their houses if the code is enforced. Illegal internet downloads are hurting the sales of the Temple University Press. The press says it has seen a 15% drop in textbook sales this fall, mostly in the number of supplemental textbooks sold. Director Alex Olsman says if the press sees any of its material offered online without permission, it would seek a cease and desist order with help from the university attorney's office. Temple's Paley Library continues to rise up in the charts. Recent additions to the library helped to climb to 60th in a recent ranking in the Chronicle of Higher Education. Experts say the reason for the rise is the growth of libraries' collection and information services, as well as the amount of money spent on the library since 2004. Paley Library has jumped up 23 spots. The university's enrollment and tuition continue to increase. Carl Vasile tells us how Temple employees say they aren't seeing the same growth in their salaries. Over 400 Temple University employees and students rallied outside the doors of Sullivan Hall. The Temple Association of University Professionals are demanding that Temple management negotiates a new contract reflecting a decent raise for every employee. We've been at the bargaining table speaking with Temple's negotiators for almost four months now and we have not gotten very close in our bargaining and we feel very very concerned about where we are now. AFSME, a union that has been without a contract for nearly a year, joined TAUP during the demonstration. So our members have gone without a raise uh, because they consider uh, fighting over an across-the-board raise as something worth fighting for. Temple wants to change the current merit system into a pay-for-performance plan. The vague and incomplete guidelines of the proposal have made many skeptical of the new system. That's going to get our, our staff and, and our teachers fighting against each other. And uh, if they're competing, if they're trying to outdo each other, trying to fight each other, then uh, our education is going to suffer. TAUP has given Temple a complete set of revised proposals, hoping to get closer to an agreement. I hope the final outcome is a fair across-the-board raise for all of our employees. And we think we deserve to be able to keep pace with the cost of living increases. And we think that's the right thing to do and the way to treat our employees here at Temple University. Temple's employees will continue to pressure the administration until a contract is presented that both parties agree on. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Carl Vasile.